Brenna Hartman, the Fixie Chick, Pat Coyne, Alex Lilly. We're live in the studio with Lana Tori, our Good guest today. Good morning. Good morning. Evergreen Interiors. How did you choose that name for your business? Because I was into recycling, and evergreen is evergreen. I, I will love be. It. I will be evergreen, and you know, I was that way. I started dragging home furniture when I was probably. 13 years old and I still have in my office the desk I brought home that my neighbor the Snaiths back in the 19th Ward Genesee Park Boulevard threw out in maybe 1964. I still have that desk. That's a beautiful desk. I wow. know exactly which one it's you're a talking beautiful about. Desk. And I can picture it in your office with the fabric all <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. how Absolutely. you guys that's why you guys get along so well. You both Go dumpster ahead. dive? Exactly. Yeah. I have, oh, I should tell you my best dumpster dive adventure. I really have. Do you have a good story? Oh, we have to I go have out the together. best story. I have the best story in the whole world. <laughs> I was decorating a house for Homerama a few years back, and I wanted to do kind of, you know, I always have a theme. So my thought was to make this house look very kind of upscale by the water, Cape Codish. So I was having dinner at the Red Lobster, and um, I had struck up a, a, a a conversation with the manager and I said, Oh, I would just love to borrow some of your accessories in this restaurant. And he said, well, I can't let you borrow anything, but he said, I did get a note that we are going to be redecorating the restaurant and we're going to have a, a cleaner, uh, lighter, brighter look. Mm. So I said, well, mm. when this happens, will you let me know? Because I would love to purchase some of the accessories, you know, the oars and the lights and the, you know, the meters and, uh, you know, all, all of these beautiful, um, um, framed pieces of artwork that were photographs of lobster boats. Not and, the plastic oh. red lobsters and crabs. No, no, <laughs> not those. Not those. But anyhow, he called me. I did give him my card, and I said, please call me when this happens. So, lo and behold, I get a call, and he said to me, Lana, this is, you know, so-and-so from the Red Lobster. I hate to tell you, but they came in last night, and they tore the place apart and everything that was in this restaurant is in the dumpster behind the restaurant. Oh. He said, so if you want anything, I suggest you come down dumpster immediately. Dive. Yes. Dumpster so I put on, of course, wow. my overalls and my steel-toed boots and <laughs> called a friend who had a pickup truck. And let me tell you, I have everything that was in Red Lobster. Oh, wow. Good to know. <laughs> That's cool. And anybody out there, if you want to give Lana a call, if you need a lobster. <laughs> if you need anything, no. if you need a nice photograph of a lobster boat with uh, cool. while the fishermen are lobstering, it's pretty That's cool. cool. And speaking, no. cool. I did want to just real quick, Lana Tory Evergreen Interiors joining us today on Property Source Radio. LanaTory.com. That's L A N A. T O R R E dot mm -hmm. com. If you want to get a hold of Lana, 223 8776. Um, what was your question? You were going to say well, something. I was going to say, coincidentally, speaking of dumpster no diving, I, no, I figured you guys could relate to this. This is no such thing. <laughs> no. What? You, you know, I've never, ever gone to an estate sale or a garage sale. I just don't do oh. that. No, okay? he doesn't. I he just don't. He everything out right. with well, me. You know, coincidentally, oh. that we're bringing this kind of stuff up, this dumpster diving. Yesterday, I go out for breakfast with my dad. And we drive in through my neighborhood, and there's a huge estate sale. It's there's there's cars everywhere. You and went? I I went into it. It I was I can't believe it. What'd I didn't you buy me. I didn't buy a darn thing because it was stuff. You know what? You know what? First thing that hit me was this is how it all ends, and I felt really depressed. Hmm. I walked in, and you see the old stuff from the '60s and the orange swinging doors at the bar in the basement. You know, and <laughs> click, click, orange, you know, and it was just, coming back. You should have. <laughs> should have bought the doors off the wall. Yeah, <laughs> but you know, I, I just went. I just thought that was kind of a coincidence. It's the first time in my life I actually bothered to go to a garage just for fun. Fun. You know what I mean? It I, is fun. It, yeah, it's a hobby. It can turn into it can turn into hoarders. Oh, okay. but you know it can <laughs> it can be a fun thing to do with your friends. You know, with your kids, get them into it. But you know, it's really truly all comes back. Yeah. To recycling. Mm -hmm. And it's yeah. it's a beautiful, wonderful thing. So, getting back to why mm -hmm. you asked how I selected the name of Evergreen, that's why because I'm I'm all a, all about it. So I'd like to say I'm going to pose a question to you. What's one small green thing that you can do to help save our planet? One small oh. thing you could do today. 
not throw that beer bottle out the window on the way home. <laughs> huh? <laughs> Am I right? <laughs> I'll leave it in the car. I love you. <laughs> I, I love you, you too. Oh, gosh. That's great. I got, it was good. I had a good one. You're welcome. Yeah, that's, a, that's, that's great. But we can all do one small How thing about to change our planet today. Okay. I am an avid user of those reusable bags from Wegmans. I use not not only at Wegmans, but at every store. Mm. Every time I go shopping, I bring the reusable bags. They got lead bags paint in them, me. don't they? They Chinese, probably do, but Chinese either recycled way. recycled ones or something. <laughs> <laughs> either way, I it's don't okay. go home with 9,000 plastic bags from mm-hmm. Wegmans. And, and I keep my plastic bags because I use them for various things throughout dog the house. Poop. But I don't mm-hmm. like dog poop. Yes, my dog is such a jerk. <laughs> um... That's but, yeah, so I use reusable bags. I do that religiously. I have them in my car every time we go to Wegmans. I'm like, Lewis, See, I need the bags. That's great. I have the bags as well. I can never freaking remember, remember. to bring them in I just them put the them store. in my car, and then I make it Lewis's <laughs> job after the groceries are put away to go put them back in my car because I'll forget. So I make him do it. I'm like, I Lewis, go it. put these in my car. That way they're in there. See, mine are in my car, too, but they're in the trunk. And I go, I'm rushing, and I run into the grocery store, and then, you know, I get all these groceries. Then I get in line. I'm like, oh, I forgot those bags. And I look around like, I hope no one recognizes me because I'm on the radio watching <laughs> green, you know, and I got I 67 plastic You got to go bags. shopping in Buffalo. And the thing about <laughs> the paparazzi. <laughs> the thing about the Wegmans plastic bags is that the bag people, like they'll put 4,000 things in those reusable bags. They'll put two things in one plastic bag. Mm-hmm. Like, what is the point of that? Like mm. one half gallon of milk gets its own call plastic bag. I him should. Mm. Like, what's the deal with your baggers? We're going green, people. Oh, yes. Mm-hmm. Get on the bo- boat. Speaking the boat? of that, Lana, what is one green thing you're going to do this <laughs> week, girly? Well, I'll tell you what I've started to do, and it really, um, it really makes a difference. I don't buy paper napkins any longer. Sweet, me either. Really? All right. What do you do? Cloth napkins. Cloth <gasps> that reminds me. Cloth. You've eaten at my house. Yes. Have you ever used a paper napkin? No, at my house? that's right. That's Never. right. They are cloth. I only do that when we dine in the dining room. That's mm. the cloth. You know what I mean? Every day. Why wait? Every but day. I don't know. I never thought about it. But that reminds me. I have a bidet. I don't use toilet paper. Ha uh-huh. <laughs> ha. <laughs> I think that that's like TMI. <laughs> yeah. I know. I, that's why I said it. It was cool. <laughs> touching that i'm not going near there okay but i can tell you when i go to all my estate sales and household sales i look for sets of napkins mm-hmm. and i always buy the same same color palette of course i'm a designer okay. so it's always got to be right but cool. uh you know i'll totally you know wash them up i fold them up and don't i honey don't we have them every <laughs> meal we have a cloth napkin and you know what i always say you treat your friends like family and treat your family like friends so oh, you know like yeah it's yeah. like I have to put that on my facebook <laughs> i'm gonna steal that i love that steal that 